video game phoenix here and welcome to another video of mine today i'm going to be starting off the series let's make a pokemon hack as i told you before we're going to be making icon mon and if you haven't seen that video then go and watch it because it explains some stuff about the history of it so anyways we'll get started and i'll, I'll guess i'll show you all the tools i'm using first up we have attack and yape so basically yape changes the pokemon's data including what type it is you can even make your own type you can choose the color what attacks it can learn and um attack sort of builds up onto that and you can make your own attack sort of now you can't do the animations you would need to use another program to do that which i'll show you in a moment but basically attack tells you um what moves a pokemon can learn and you can change that through this program now this is the elite map pack I got this off of the Helmeted Rodent, I'll put the link in the description. So we have Base Edit, Bewildered, Dexter, Elite Map, which is sort of a little like advanced map, which is for making sort of like the maps where you're going to be walking around. Fonted, which chooses what font you have, I guess. You know, because I haven't actually used these, so I'm not exactly sure what most of these do. Lips. Um, I don't know what that is, but you know, if you talked about it anywhere else, it would sound like a kissing application. Mape Edit, um, doesn't have an icon, I don't know what that's for, I think it's something like Yape. Patted, I'm not sure what that's for. Pet, I think that's for trainers. Pokey Cry is to change what it, the Pokey Cry is, Pokemon Cry is. Pokey Pick is to change the icon of the Pokemon. Um, not sure what that does. That's something to do with, um, buying stuff in Pokemarts. Um, see, I don't know what these are. Ah, this is the one I was talking about before. This is the one where you can edit the attack graphics. So, like, if you want, if you want to replace, like, we're going to do Swift with File Send or something, you can just paste uh, file icons over the stars, and you can change the Pokemon graphics and everything. But, like I said before, less than 16 colors or else you're in trouble. Now, you probably already noticed this a few episodes ago, but I have Advanced Map, which I think, if I can find the file, is somewhere around here. But this is the shortcut anyway, so at least you know where that is. Yeah. You probably knew I d did Pokemon Hacking when you first saw it, but unless you're stupid. So basically, this is like a leap map, so it does the same thing, um, except this, you, this kind of puts everything together in the game, so you can do scripting as well, using Notepad over here, like... Um, for example, wait, no, that's not it. My computer's weird, like, um, shift. No. Oh, God, no, I've got the wrong, I've got the wrong font on, that's why. I'm using one of my new fonts, which I showed you last time. It's the uh, Yoshi's Island chalkboard. And, uh, yeah, it was at the very end of the episode, so if you didn't watch that far, then watch it! Uh, usually I use, um, Lucidia. Lucidia console. Ah, damn it! There it is. So like, uh, damn it! Oh, that's it. Uh, but I don't know how to do any of that. I I recommend you check out Foulumps' tutorials for that. Uh, Foulumps for Foulumps. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I'll see if I can find. Uh, the link might put that in the description. I don't know. So, yeah. Now, of course, any good person who's going to do any Pokemon hacking is going to need Visual Boy, a Game Boy emulator for your computer. Or you could just use an R4 and then play it on your DS, but that takes a lot more work than downloading this. You can use no dollar GBA, uh, no cash GBA, but that's very, very glitchy on Windows 7, unless you have XP. I guess you could run it in compatibility mode, but I've never tried that. I actually haven't played any Pokemon games on that, um, because I tried to play New Super Mario Brothers on no cash GBA, because it's also a um, DS emulator, I think, and uh, it just didn't work. Now, I believe I... Um, had a uh, folder here called hacking. Oh no, there it is. Is advanced map in here? No, it isn't. Where is it? 
Ya. Hmm. Ye uh, yape. Elite map. Ah, there's advanced map. Uh, um, bear with me a moment. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got some. Uh, I got that pretty sorted. So, yeah. I, I guess we'll start if I just check what this time is on my little camera thing. Okay, we've got five minutes, so I um, guess I'll show you the ROM I'll be using. Mm, hold on, I'll just come back when I find it. Okay, I found it. God, that's been taking ages. Wait, po where'd Pokemon Emerald go? Damn it. Found it. <laughs> Damn it. Right. Okay. Oh, so that's where it went. Okay, that's just great. So I'll be using Pokemon Emerald version. Oh, I wish I'd really change my desktop background. Sorry if it's so slow, everyone, but my computer there's only a mini laptop and it slows down when when Bandy comes on. So we go to file, load ROM, and there it is. Wait, what? Okay. So, hold on a second. Okay, I don't know if I've explained it before because I just kind of messed up. So, you've got from head... Okay. Okay, you've got three things from header. You click in. You can click from any one of these and you get loads and loads of files. So, basically, I clicked on Peterburg City and you've got things. You can, like... You can place tiles everywhere you... Place tiles everywhere you want. But we don't want that because that will be stupid. And then you can have movement permissions. So one you can't go. C is clear. So one's like, it gives you that little mm, sound like you're going... Mm, mm. Weird. Four is a surf. I'm not sure what D does. You can just play around with all these movement permissions and see what they do um, and then you know you'll just um, you know you might find something new and if you if you do then tell me because I don't I don't know what most of these are events is what happens in the city so you've got all these lovely little people wild Pokemon encounter you can add people uh, not people um, Pokemon this is not Facebook and then you can give the name to the city, the music, the colour of the text and everything. And uh, show name on entering. So it is pretty nice. I, I don't know what this is. Oh god, no, 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 no. No, we don't want that. No, no, no. No, no, no. No! Oh my god. No. <laughs> this just shows you that I'm a little crap at this. Is this the right one? Is it? Yeah, that is. Thank God. You can add little bushes and stuff as well. You probably know this is the, the lab place. There'll probably be a lot more computers when I'm doing this. And you can see the tile set's a little mat. Why is there a bed? Okay, that's weird. After countless hours of searching, I have found um, Little Root Town. I thought I'd just give you a demonstration. So this is a border block. You can pick... Oh, my God. No! That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Um, whoops. Okay, I'm back, and I thought maybe I'd add some bushes. So if I can find the bushes somewhere up here. So this is all the tile set, so this is like everything upon everything that you can like get in just this tile set. And I don't think there's a way to change it. And as you can see, I made some bushes, but I'm going to have to go now because I've just run out of time. Bye.